Hey everybody, Mark Spect the Comics and I'm back. This time with some weekly pickup and I got a CGC package that just came in the mail. If you're interested in seeing what books I got in there as well, stay tuned for that intro. I'm back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I do have, I ended up picking up a Golden Age book. I went to um, an antique shop the other day. So, uh, you know, spent some time there. Quick, just a quick visit just to see if they had anything new. And there was like a new booth there that I wanted to check out. So um, I did pick up a book there. And then I'll show you a quick CGC unboxing. So, went there. They had some cool books, you know, uh, like a Fantastic Four 112 and ASM 300. Prime Suspense. Um, the prices weren't, you know, not the greatest. The FF112 was pretty good, but I decided not to pick it up that day. But um, I did pick up this Golden Age book, and this is from Quality Comic Publication. This is GI Combat, issue number 18. Um, really nice, really nice cover. You can see this is definitely a Cold War era cover, which I've been slowly trying to pick up more and more of um, for, you know, just for pre-war covers. I just think they're very nostalgic and uh, much more affordable than picking up the uh, World War II uh, covers. So uh, if you see these in a while, I highly recommend them. Um, I had to do a little bit of research because I did not know who, um, who did this cover. So it was actually a cover done by, and I've never heard of these artists, uh, done by Dick Dillon and Chick, uh, Chuck Cuidera. Uh, Sorry, I probably butchered that. Um, which I've never heard of either one. Um, it caught my eye, obviously, because of the explosive panel there. And it also says, Red Battleground Hydrogen Bomb Assault, which on the first... Um, on the splash page, it actually shows the uh, the actual title and the uh, panel with the uh, hydrogen bomb, um, like scene, or like they're blowing up, a, attempting to blow up a mountain. Uh, which this story takes place in like in Alaska, so you can see there. H bomb assault, pretty cool. Oh. Pretty cool, and it's uh, you know, it's lower grade, so uh, no big deal. Picked it up for cheap. I think I paid like twenty-one dollars for it. Um, came out in November of nineteen fifty-four, so uh, pretty cool. Um, and then I'll show you guys my CGC unboxing. So this was my the two, the last two books of my. 11 book submission that I did back in, um, uh, that I initially submitted back in May, well, you know, late April to the presser, and then got back to the, um, and then CGC received it late June. So, um, got my Golden Age books, you probably saw that video if you haven't already, check it out, some cool books there. I did that one. That came back in a month, and then this one came back a month later. So it was pretty, pretty quick turnaround time, if you ask me. So uh, I'm excited to see what these last two books are. And uh, this will probably be the time where I fast forward. There we go. That was uh, a little difficult to open up that package. Jeez. Much more difficult than uh, when you get a larger submission. So you can see it's well packaged. And um, got the slip on here. Mortal Hulk 50 and World War Hulk 5. Here we go. So there's my submission paper there. 
Um, I'm hoping that they're both 9-8s, to be honest. <laughs> um, the World War Hulk Hulk, I have uh, next to no money on it. I think I paid like 10, 15 bucks when I was in Colorado. And then, um, but the uh, Immortal Hulk, I had bought it on New Comic Book Day. And that was when I went out with uh, Carlito, when I visited him in Iowa. And that one I paid for cover, which was like a hundred dollars. It was like a one in one hundred hidden gem. All right, so I have the books here. I'm going to show you the uh, first book on top. This is the World War Hulk book. And you can see here, and the glare, it's the uh, World War Hulk issue number five. This is the, I think it's the one in 20 variant done by uh, John Romita Jr. Um, it does actually say on there first full appearance of Scar so this does have some spec play um, especially with the current uh, She-Hulk series. It's been a lot of speculation that this character may show up but um, it's a good book to have either way. So what did we get? 9 8. Nice. All right. Let's take a look at the slab. Make sure there's no issues with it. Awesome. I like it. Look at that. You can see uh, Hulk is uh, smashing on sentry. And in the back, you got a uh, U.S. Army advertising. Pretty cool. All right. So, and then the last book, this is going to be a quick video, which is fine. Um, and I do actually have another World War Hulk issue number five going back out. When I went to Terrificon, I actually dropped one off for the uh, John Romita Jr. signing. So that'll come back probably later this year, hopefully. All right, and now we got the um, Immortal Hulk. Issue number 50. I thought this was a pretty cool cover. I know it's not everyone's taste, but um, this was Immortal Hulk issue number 50. This is the Hidden Gem Jack Kirby cover. Uh, you know me, I like collecting last issues, and this was just a fantastic read. Me personally, I thought this was the best Hulk written series ever. Um, write it down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, Al Ewing crushed it. Alex Ross covers 1 through 50. It was absolutely stunning. Obviously, this is not an Alex Ross because this was the variant. But um, it was just a fantastic series. Um, so what did we get? Ah, 9-4. What happened? Wow, I'm a little surprised on that one. Let me take a look at this closely. Um, Incredible Hulk Legacy 767, last issue. Um, I like how they actually notate on there, last issue. Um, on the back. That. Let me take a look at the back real quick. I'm trying to see why this got a 9.4. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Wow, that's pretty harsh for a 9-4. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But, um, right there, on the corner, there's a slight crease. Um, I'm honestly not sure how that came to be because... I never opened up the book. Um, I know there's always possibilities of things happening in the mail and when you obviously you get to uh, CGC. But this book was perfect. So uh, that's, a little, that's a little disappointing. But you know, the, the little fold is there. Um, so I can see why I got a 9-4. I'll, uh, you know, it's not... It's not color breaking, which is, you know, 
but it's fine. I don't I don't plan on uh, you know resubmitting it. It's not the book is going in the PC, so I don't really personally care. I was just hoping they were both going to be nine eights, but uh, either way, a little disappointed. But on on this one, but uh, you know, I am happy with the uh, with the grading. At least you know it was an honest grade. You know, sometimes they'll uh, they'll just give out nine eights just just for the hell of it. But uh, so uh, these are the two books. Boom. And uh, of course the uh, Golden Age GI Combat, which if you ask me, this is this is my favorite of the three. This is just a fantastic cover. So uh, that's it for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, comment down below. Uh, what you guys thought. Until next time, Marks with the Comics.